Okay, so, I got a request a couple days ago, well, more like a week ago, to recreate the MCC Final Duel Dodge Bolt. So, I recreated several components, but I have not actually worked them, like, put them together, but this is all that you need to do it. So, first, let's focus on shrinking the map. So, that is what we mostly want to do. Now, this is done with five different command blocks that are repeated several times. Although, always slightly differently. So the top one just slash fills an area of two blocks with red concrete. And this is done four times with four different command blocks to recreate a border. And then bottom one makes a sound. You might have been able to hear it, you might not have, but that but it was there. And also you can see the commands in chat. And also the coordinates you'll need to set yourself, obviously. And then over here, they're set back to a grass block so that it looks normal again. And that's how it sort of flickers. Then the very last one, it replaces all the pieces with the air, and it has this one, which fills in the last bit with air. So yeah, basically the same command over and over again. And then this one just has different sound, which is piss and extend. So yeah. And then I also have the one over here that is, again, a slash fill command, which just turns it back into a bit of grass. And of course, let's have a quick look at the map that we actually made shrink. So, this whole map is actually just wool on top of, sorry, not wool, carpet on top of ice, with lava very deep below. Do not put it too close to the ice, otherwise it will start melting the ice, and several pieces of ice will melt before the water that falls from the ice melting puts out the lava. It happens to me, and I don't really want that to happen to you. Now we've got a border that goes around the entire map. And each of these sides are equal, so I'm just gonna show you what this one looks like. So, as you can see, this is how long the map is. And then these are connected partly, so you can kind of go from here all the way over to there. And then this goes four blocks over here, and the rest so all the way over there, because a side of this is also equal to that side. So yeah, that is everything about the map, except for resetting the map after you are done. Obviously, we can't just fill it in with grass, because then this would just be a giant grass block. So, instead, we need to use a clone command. And you can simply do that by doing this, and cloning it over there. So, we take the coordinates of the corners of this thing, and then we put the coordinates over here so that it will know to take the area with the corners of the first two coordinates over to the third coordinates. It's pretty easy to do. And then we need to know when somebody dies so that we can activate the border shrinking. So first, we'll want to create a scoreboard, a scoreboard, scoreboard objective that is death count, and then execute if entity at e scores equals death equals one. So this will execute if an entity has the score of death at one, and then you'll just want to have, you'll want to have it to repeat and always active. Then put in the command that you need right here. You should do one that always sets people's death to zero, so that it's only done once when somebody dies. So, at E scores to death, yeah, just 
set everybody's scores of death to zero, and then you set another one with whatever commands you want to do, which could be activating the border, or you might not want to do the border. And of course, the bow. So, whenever the bow actually hits somewhere, the arrows disappear. So, I made it that when an arrow hits the ground on this side, somebody in this area, a random person, so if there are two people, it will be a 50-50, whoever gets it. If there are three people, then you'll have a third of a chance to get the arrow, and that one person will get one arrow to replace that one arrow that was missing. So, this has two sides, so there's these two. So basically, these two things are clones. This is what finds out if there's an arrow there. So, if an entity, which is an arrow that is in the ground, is also in these coordinates, this is an X, Y, and Z, and then the distance is how far away the arrow can be when it hits the ground. So you want to make sure that it covers this whole side of the arena, but does not go over there. And you also want to make sure that it can cover all of the walls. Then, you set a block to redstone, because you need to activate several commands with this. So, you want to give a random person in the same coordinates as before one arrow. Then, kill the arrow, since it's an entity. And then, set the block right here back to air so that it immediately goes away, and all those commands only happen once. Well, actually, that's not what makes it happen once. It's killing the arrow that makes it happen once. That is what makes it so that it doesn't get stuck and just happens once. Like in the whole game. So, that's how you do that. And then, of course, the spawn people in, you can just do a simple teleport command. I think at some point, if people want me to, I'll make a fully, like, put-together game of it. But for now, this is all the commands that you will really need. And thank you for watching. Goodbye. If you want me to make a specific video, put it in the comments. Thank you.